Um, I'm with Donny Reynolds. Uh, disappointing 1 0 defeat away at CB Hounslow. From the off, it looked like we never really got going. Um, we never made the keeper make a save. And we ju it just looked like a poor performance all round today. Yeah, no, like nobody started. We just couldn't get out. We couldn't get out first or second gear. Um, hopefully, it's just one of those games where we can we can just write it off and go back again. But yeah, it's a very very poor performance all round today. Yeah, um, as, as you say, <laughs> there was nothing positive to come out of it really. It was just one of those games that you just say we've had one of them today. Yeah, and like I said, that's what I'm hoping. It is just literally one of those games we didn't. We didn't keep the ball well enough. We didn't. Uh, we, was, we was hitting the ball in wrong areas. The ball didn't stick once. It was just, it was just a poor performance all around. To be fair, um, yeah. When you look at it, were there any plus pluses that you could take out of the game? I mean, Matty Pelletta had a little run towards the end, which was half decent. But for me, that was about it. Um, yeah, the positive is we can't play that badly again. <laughs> so that's 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 all I can take out of it. Matty's run, um, yeah, but you know, even even again, it typified it. It was a good run. There was no impact. There was no. It didn't you know? It didn't create anything. Just a good run. Count, um, does it? Defensively, we looked fairly solid. It has to be said. I mean, they didn't really cause Mike too many problems. Um, it was just going the other way. Yeah. Um, never saw a goal coming, but. Credit to the C B Hounslow striker. He done what we didn't do today. In fact he typified them more than what you know what we didn't do. We didn't he hustled everything, he chased everything. He still wasn't even in the game, but then when he got his opportunity he scored. We, you know, so fair play to that, but we didn't I don't know, our front three compared to his one, he you know, he made three of one one at the end of the day, so yeah. it was that point. And to be fair, it was a good finish. Um, through a crowd, Mike really had no chance with it. So yeah, might say, got, yeah, and that's what I mean for him. You know, to be there, he picked it up. He picked it up. He picked up the scraps. You know, he done every, he he done everything that we expected our our players do week in week out, and just didn't even start today. So again, we, one of those yeah, it, it's a tough one. Um, coming on the end of a really shitty week for the club. Um, obviously, passing a Ken that's left everybody a little bit stunned. I think yeah. um, it would have been nice if we could have could have turned in our performance today. I think that is what hurts the most. Rest, rest in peace, Ken, and to his family as well. Condolences. Um, that that hurts the most. I, you know, I'd love to have won for Ken today. And um, but do you know what? It's 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 we, we can pick it up. At the end of the day, we still got 15, 16 games to go. And do you know what? We'll get promoted for Ken anyway. So you know, we'll do our very utmost best for Ken for that. So good. Um, next week we go up to Banstead. Um, you look at the league table, you think, yeah, that should be fairly comfortable. But then you look at recent results, and they've come here and they've won one nil. It's going to be one of those games that if we're not one hundred percent on it, we'll get beaten again. After today, there's no game you can look on paper and say we can win that or that's easy. Every single game is our cup final now. It's that simple. We have to take that mindset into all our games. We, I don't. To be fair, we haven't looked at a team and said, you know what, it's an easy win. Or we, we've never done that. Even see behind though today, we didn't look and think, yeah, we, you know, on paper, yes, it looks like that. But we never go with the mindset of they're a lower team than us, or they're below us, so we should get three points out of them. Every game taken with one step at a time, my friend. So. Um, next week, obviously, Daryl's going to come back into contention, I assume. Yes. Liam. Will probably be missing. He was sent off today for yeah. um, an alleged headbutt. Um, any other changes that you envisage? Uh, yeah, there'll be. I yeah, I can say there'll be a few changes. Yeah, definitely. There'll, there'll definitely be a few changes in there. Um, get on the training ground and we'll see who's who. So we'll work it out. Because obviously next week it's a next weekend is a big one. We have obviously the Banstead game. And then two days later, the Cobham Cup quarter final, which I, I know we're going to have to make changes because obviously Mao and Jamil are both uh, cup tied for that. Yeah, um, to be honest with you, the cup game is, is, that's too far ahead. We just look at Saturday, getting that out of the way and getting, you know, getting back on track again. Cool. Well, thank you very much, Donny. Appreciate you talking to me. It's never easy after a defeat. But as I said, if we don't do it, we just look stupid. Yeah, no, 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 no